What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Just Naughty, and today I am in the kitchen, you guys. Now I'm not in here to cook, but I'm in here to whip up some ingredients. I don't know about you guys. But around this time of the year, my lips will start to crack up to the point that I'm biting it and it'll scab and everything. I don't know if you guys can see my lips. There should be a little something over here. But the inner lining of my lips always start to, to not scab up. It always start to have that little white piece that I'll start biting at. And when I tell y'all um, scrubs, lip scrubs are a, a game changer when it comes to these lips. Like it helps a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys how to mix some lip scrubs um, using ingredients that's in your own kitchen. So you guys don't have to spend a dime, a penny, or a nickel. We got it at home. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started and save some money. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, I could not find any kind of containers laying around in my house, but I did find one in my refrigerator. And since we are using everything that's in our home instead of going to the store, I'm gonna be using these. I'm gonna be using this egg container so that I can mix everything in it. I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna cut out probably four pieces. Alright, so these are the four cups and of course I am not going to be able to store these lip scrubs inside of this because there's no lid to it, but I am going to go to the store and, and or find containers inside my house to store them in. Alright, so this first scrub, I'm going to go down to the basics. All you really need is sugar. I'm just going to put one spoonful of sugar and a little bit of coconut oil. Now this is organic extra virgin coconut oil. All right, and I'm gonna stir that up. Now the amount of coconut oil that you add in here is your own preference. It does not have to be drenched in it, but you do wanna fully coat all of the sugar. So this is what my scrub is looking like now so this would be the basic way to make a sugar scrub just by using coconut oil and sugar this is just a plain white sugar nothing special so I'm gonna try to see if I could test this on my arm for you guys Y'all see that? It feels good on my skin. This could really be a, um, a body scrub as well. But look at that. All right. Also, if you'd like to jazz this up, you could add some food coloring. I got some red food coloring over here. It will not dye your lips. All it needs is just one splash. Stir that up. And there goes your, your sugar scrub. Nothing special, I just added food coloring, coconut oil, and the sugar. All right, so the next idea that you guys can do is using organic brown coconut sugar. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. A little goes a long way. You really don't have to use too much. Depending on the size of the container that you're going to use, you want to use that amount. I'm just going to put one spoonful in here. I'm also going to use ground cinnamon. Not too much, just a little. I'm going to use a little bit of honey. Small amount of coconut oil. 
this next part is optional but you can also use some pure lemon extract i'm just gonna pour i'm just gonna pour a small amount then i'm gonna stir it up a little bit more coconut oil you guys because that's a little dry I'm sure the honey had it um sticking together more and clumping up so that that um coconut sugar uh, coconut sugar that coconut oil is definitely needed heavily on this. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I'm done stirring it up. I'm going to do a little test on my arms for you guys. They all really do the same thing. There is honey up here, so it comes up differently than it did the first time around when I have the just basic ingredients. So if you'd like, you can put a little bit more, um, a little bit more coconut oil than I did to help loosen it up. But these are my results. Now this next one, you guys, believe it or not, but it's good for your lips. I have petroleum jelly. Petroleum jelly, originally, it's used to protect minor cuts, scrapes, or burns. And it also helps to relieve chapped or cracked skin or lips. So this is definitely going to be a good factor when it comes to making sure that it looks healthy. I went ahead and added the petroleum jelly to the cup because it is a little bit difficult to put in there. So I did that outside of the video. I'm also going to add a little bit of brown coconut sugar. I do not have steady hands. I'm going to add a little bit of honey. I'm going to add some coconut oil. And these last two are optional, but I'm going to add some vanilla extract. And some food coloring. Now this is not necessary, but once again, I just wanted to play with the colors and add a little something to it. So I'm going to stir all of that up. This is what it looks like before I stir it up. Alright, and so this is what it looks like now that I'm done stirring it up. It does kind of look like strawberry jam. <laughs> it was easier for me to mix this than it was the other two lip scrubs. And I think it's because of the petroleum jelly because it has that slip. So let's try it on my arms. And yeah, this is way better. It feels better than the, um, the first two that I made. So I would definitely add some petroleum jelly to my other mixtures. Just a tiny bit. But this feels good. It doesn't clump up too bad and everything still stays together. Yeah, this feels good. That's what it looks like again. Last but not least, with this next one, you guys are probably going to think that I'm crazy. But not only can you use this to ingest, but you can also use this on your lips. This right here is coffee. This is what I use for my Keurig machine. It's the pumpkin pie coffee. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to pour it inside of here. Because I'm using this coffee, I really don't need any sugar because the coffee grounds is it's just about the same size as the sugar and it's going to help exfoliate your lips just like the sugar would. 
So with this, I'm only gonna add some coconut oil and maybe just a little bit, just a little bit of honey. All right, and then I'm gonna stir all this up. So this is what it looks like now that I'm done mixing it up. I'm going to give it a try on my arms for you guys. My poor little arms is getting tired of being used. But look at that. This feels real good. And it doesn't clump up as much as the, um, sh the sugar did in the original ingredient. This feels real good. Well, let me show you guys my arms now that I'm done. So almost every time that I've applied every scrub that I made, it did leave my arm feeling um, well moisturized. That coconut oil that I did use did leave some of its residue on my skin, which is fine. So now my skin feels real smooth. Even after I've dried it, it still feels nice and soft. So these are all of the mixtures. Everything here are items that I got from my home. I didn't have to go buy anything. So you guys can definitely save your money by making your own lip scrubs. I promise y'all they might just add a few extra things so that it could last, like preservatives. But make your own. Make your own. Don't even worry about going to go buy any. Make your own. And as you guys see, I was also able to apply this on my arms. So this can be a lip scrub and or a body scrub. So if you'd like to use this as a lip scrub, then go ahead and you, you know, go ahead and make you a small amount like this. It'll last you a while. But if you'd like to use this as a body scrub, you do want to use bigger portions because this little amount is not going to be enough for your entire body. If you'd like to exfoliate your entire body. Since the petroleum jelly lip scrub was the less messier one, I'm gonna go ahead and try that on my lips right now and exfoliate. So you guys go ahead and look at the before. And let me apply. I only use a small amount. I probably don't even need that much. I'm done rinsing it out um, my lips definitely feel softer now I do apply this more than once a week depending on how my lips look and feel is when I'll apply it you know if it feels dry and crusty or if I have that that white lining in the middle then I'll go ahead and apply it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys learned something if you guys have any questions leave it down below and I'll try my best to answer them if you guys like this video go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. See you guys in my next video. Do I put it towards me or not for the closing?